Hey, it's Anne Emery, and you are in for a treat. We're going to create some sparklines. Sparklines are miniature charts that live inside just one cell of your spreadsheet. I usually use them to explore my data, to check out the highs and the lows, and spot some patterns early on. I also use them a lot in dashboards, and I love them because they are so fast and so easy to design. Here's how you make them. Let's create them for just the top row of our spreadsheet. So I'm going to highlight that row all at at once in one fell swoop, go up to the insert tab and go all the way over. Keep going, keep going past. These are the like full charts, the three by five inch charts that you're used to seeing. Keep going, keep going, keep going to the sparkline section. Sparklines are in Excel 2010 and higher on both Macs and PCs, so you probably have them. If you don't see this section right here on your insert tab, it might be because you're on Excel 2007, which at this point is a decade ago, it's probably time to upgrade, but more often than not, you will have the sparkline section by, by now, a decade later. All right, so let's click on the first icon for a spark line, and you get to ignore this pop-up window. It's got a bunch of jargon on there. Sometimes people get intimidated. They try to read all those instructions. You don't have to read it. Just go over here, all the way over to the right of your numbers where you wanna place your spark line. You're gonna see that dotted line, the lasso around the cell to verify that's where you want it. Hit okay, and you're gonna see your spark line. Pretty cool. These are made up numbers. It's just a sample data set, but in your real data set, you'll see a lot of really great patterns. Like you might see that things are steadily increasing. You might see that things are steadily decreasing. You might see a total flat line that things are relatively steady over time. You might see huge peaks and valleys as the pattern zigzags around the page. And then you get to pause and think about why you see those highs and lows or why you see the increases or why you see the decreases. Okay, so next, let's just fill in our spark lines for the rest of our rows. I'm hovering my mouse over this teeny tiny green square in the lower right corner of that cell until I see the black plus sign appear. I click on that, drag it all the way down, and I've got, within seconds, the spark lines for my entire sheet. All right, those are spark lines at a glance.